My golden retriever keeps limping and is unable to control his bladder. What's wrong with him, doctor? The owner asked. Dr. Singh replied, There seems to be swelling of his hind legs and obvious shifting leg lameness. We will have to conduct a blood test in order to produce a diagnosis. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video brought to you by Tapayo Vets. A golden retriever came in on the 19th of January 2014 displaying symptoms of lameness in its hind legs. As noted by the owner, shifting leg lameness was observed as its hind legs would get swollen alternately. Dr. Singh requested the owner to walk the dog in order to determine which area is lame. There was obvious inflammation upon palpation by the doctor. Lyme disease is a bacterial illness that can be transmitted to dogs by certain species of ticks. It is caused by the bacterium Borella burgdorferi that is carried by the tick and is transmitted to the dog by a tick bite. Once in the bloodstream, the bacteria can travel to different parts of the body and cause problems in specific organs or locations such as joints as well as illnesses such as arthritis. The symptoms of Lyme disease include fever, loss of appetite, reduced energy, lameness, generalized stiffness and pain, and finally the swelling of joints. A blood test would have to be conducted to test for the presence of the Borella antibodies in the blood. The antibodies are produced by the body's immune system in response to the Borella infection. A urinalysis is usually recommended because the first sign of a potential kidney problem due to Lyme disease in dogs is the presence of protein in the urine that can't be attributed to other problems. Depending on the results, other tests may be indicated. The excessive immunoglobin A deposits due to the infection by the bacteria can lead to a severe inflammation that damages kidney tissues, especially the glomeruli, which may eventually lead to kidney disease. Treatment will usually include a full course of antibiotics for 30 days that will help to resolve the symptoms quickly. Majority of the canine patients respond very well to the antibiotic treatment of doxycycline or amoxicillin. While Lyme disease is a zoonotic disease, humans are not directly at risk of contracting the disease from their pets. Instead, pets may bring unattached infected ticks into the household and subsequently, the vectors may be passed on to other animals or humans during close contact. How to prevent Lyme infections in my pet? Firstly, tick removal on a daily basis is extremely important in preventing Lyme infections. It takes time for an infected deer tick to transmit Lyme bacteria to a pet. Normally, infection will not happen any sooner than 48 to 72 hours from the beginning of a blood meal. Secondly, application of tick prevention products onto the animal is extremely important as well. This helps to reduce attached ticks and prevents a range of other tick-borne diseases. Finally, vaccination for Lyme disease is readily available at most clinics. The vaccine can be given to pets 9 weeks and older. In conclusion, Direct transmission of Lyme disease will not occur between humans and their pets. Prognosis is usually good with the use of doxycycline as an antibiotic for a month as treatment. 
Finally, make sure to use tick prevention products in dogs, especially if they are brought outside on a frequent basis. For more information, kindly call in to our clinic at Topayo Vets or visit our website at topayovets.com. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you've learned something today.